RB treasure or Miartis? Hey everyone, Mr. Mac here with another art lesson. Today we're going to make a treasure map. So, let's get cracking. I've just got a couple of bits of A4 paper here. They were actually A3 that I just ripped in half. But this project doesn't matter if your paper is tatty. It really doesn't matter at all. If anything, that's actually going to make it look better. Um, so what I've done to start with is I've grabbed some tea from a, an old tea bag, ripped it open and put some uh, water in a cup with the tea and it makes this sort of horrible brown liquid and I've just grabbed a baking tray that's big enough to fit my paper in um, kids if you're watching this and you're doing this by yourself please go get permission before you do any of this stuff okay I don't want to get in trouble because you've ruined all your your parents best equipment all right so all we're doing is we're trying to make our paper look aged and old and dirty and grimy like it's really really old and we're going to do that by just soaking it in the tea for a while. So get your first bit of paper in there, in the tea. Make sure it's completely covered. And then we're going to grab some um, coffee and also the rest of the little bits of tea and stuff. We'll pour over it in a second. Just make sure it's really well covered that you've missed anything because we don't really want any white bits showing. There we go. That's nice and covered now. So if I just leave that in there like that, that's going to go nice, rich brown colour, which is going to look really cool. If you have a bit of old coffee that your parents don't mind you using, then um, you can always sprinkle a few little extra bits of coffee on just to create these kind of little spots of brown. Um, but you don't have to do this step. I just thought I'd have a little experiment to see how it went. So once you've done that, um, I've actually done a second piece of paper. You can get as many as you can fit in there really. Um, completely up to you. You only need one piece of paper for the project, but um, you might want to make more than one treasure map. So feel free. So you can see I've just sprinkled some extra tea leaves as well from the tea bag on there just to see what it would do. Uh, and then I've chucked in my second piece of paper and done exactly the same. It's really cool to watch the coffee sort of uh, spread out as it hits, isn't it? Should leave a nice interesting mark. So I left these for about a day. Maybe even a bit longer to be honest by the time I forgot about them. And, um, and then I put them on a little drying rack. Or you could use like a cake rack or, or even just hanging them on a washing line if you can. Just make sure you don't get drips everywhere. If you can do it outside, perfect. So then I've just done a quick sketch in my sketchbook because uh, it's a bit easier to see. I started with the outline of the coast, just wibbly random lines, uh, make our little treasure island, added some details. I thought I'd start with the volcano actually. Uh, got a little treasure box up there, treasure chest. Um, added a little river with a lake uh, and a waterfall at either end. Uh, obligatory skull mountain, uh, the little shark cave, a little anchor, um, the points of the compass really important on a map just to help make it uh, look a bit cooler there's a little boat on the top left loads of little details just to try and make it as interesting as possible so here's the paper I think it came out quite nicely actually you can see some little lines where it was lying on the um, drying rack uh, I kind of like them to be honest but if you don't want those uh, just try and hang it although you want to try and keep them as flat as you can for now just for drawing on them anyway Pick your best one to start with um, and I'm going to start drawing it in pencil. It's going to be pretty much exactly the same as the last drawing you just saw other than a bit more detail but the pencil doesn't really show up particularly well on this uh, on camera so I've just sped this right up and then we'll move on to the pen in a second. Right, so that's all the pencil lines done. Then all I'm doing is just going over it with a uh, black felt tip pen. So you're going over every line. Just be conscious about uh, whether lines are outlines or detail lines. So for instance, when I go around the outline of the, the whole island, I'm going to go around fairly thick. 
but when I'm doing say the little planks of wood on the boat I'm going to try and hold my pen a little bit higher, a little bit looser and just try and use the very tip to add those little details. If you find it hard to um, adjust the pressure of the pen to get a thicker or thinner line then you could always start with a thicker pen just to do all the outlines of everything and grab a thinner pen or even like a biro or something uh, to do the detail lines if you like. So you can see it come together now, I'm going to speed it up. Um, you can see very quickly how I just add everything all in. You can see on my final lines they're a bit more detailed than I drew in my sketchbook which was just a quick sketch but once you're going over with a black pen now you can make your final decisions about what's going to go where and just tidy that stuff up, add extra little details in where you want to. Um, yeah, enjoy it. Take your time. The more detail you manage to get on your island, the more little quirky things. Little palm trees and <laughs> volcanoes and mountains and tufts of grass and little bits and bobs. You can get some snakes on there and some, you can put some caves. Really anything you can think of and the more the better. If you're struggling for ideas, do a little Google search of treasure map and you'll see actually quite a few of the ideas I've used here, like the skull and the volcano and the the compass and the treasure chest are all things that you'll find on lots of different maps and they just help make it look a bit more authentic a bit more like a real map So it's pretty much done there, um, just going to add some little wavy lines just to show that the sea is different from the land, it's worth adding that on. Just sort of wiggly little lines everywhere, evenly spaced apart. Then we're just grabbing a rubber, getting rid of all those sort of messy pencil lines that we don't need anymore. And then we're nearly done, just a couple of things left to do. If you did want to add some colour to your drawing, this would be a good time to do it. Once you've rubbed out all the pencil lines, grab a little colour pencils would be good, just to add a bit of subtle colour. You don't want to make it too bright because then it won't look as old, but you could add some bits and bobs if you wanted to, like the beaches and the trees. So obviously the last thing to add is our route to the treasure chest, which we're going to do with a, well I'm going to do with a red pen, you could do it with a red pencil if you don't have a good red pen, that's absolutely fine. So you're just doing little dashes, nice and neatly follow a little curly route, go past some of your favourite landmarks that you've drawn until you get to the treasure chest and you can do a nice big red X. And don't worry if you go over a bunch of those lines, it's absolutely fine. Then I've just scrunched it up to make it look even older and more tatty and as I've unscrunched it um, I've just sort of ripped a few of the corners and the edges to make it look properly battered. There we go, all done. I hope you have a go at this, if you do please do send it to me if you can. I'd love to see what you come up with. I'd love to see how you uh, design your own treasure island. So that's it for today. Stay safe and I will see you soon.